detaching yourself is actually one of the things that can make you the most attractive version of yourself. Letting go will build a healthy relationship. It's going to make you so attractive. It's going to magnetically attract people into your life. Now, what is the what is the opposite of of detaching yourself from the from the person, the outcome? The 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 opposite of that is codependency. Seeking approval. Seeking approval, that's what happens when you basically attach yourself, your happiness and purpose to a person. Now, in order to make this work, to make you really attractive, you need to have the confidence that the universe, the God, the person up there, the person teaching you this, you, you, have, you need to have the belief that you will be able to attract the person you wish or a better person, basically. But you need to have the confidence because if you don't have the confidence, you're not going to put the time into this. You're not going to really put this tool into practice. Now, there is a there is a good quote I was looking at uh, before this before I started recording this video. And it says the brightest, the boldest, the most attractive quality a person can possess is being utterly in love with their own lives. So being the most authentic version of themselves because it is who they are and not because of what it will get them so you're watching this video because maybe you're thinking to yourself hey i want to attract a person into my life right i want to attract someone um i want to be the best version of myself i want to get my ex back whatever the reason is you're watching this because you want to be attractive and focusing solely on this tool getting using this tool just for the fact that you want to attract that specific person is the wrong approach the reason why you want to be uh you want to use this tool is because you want to detach yourself because you want to invest time in yourself and love yourself because you want to grow as a as, a, as the best version of yourself you see when you invest this time in yourself and start loving yourself the outcome is you will be attractive. But if you use this tool of detaching yourself, this technique, whatever you want to call it, if you use this to attract the person, and that's the reason why you're doing it, because you want to attract a specific person, that is more like a manipulation and it has it will have a side effect. Like on a subconscious level, you are focusing on the person. You're not really letting go you are temporarily detaching yourself right so having that person on the back of your mind oh i'm going to do this technique this i'm going to use this tool to to attract this person you have them in the backfire you have them in the back of your mind in your thoughts and that is not the right approach because hey it might work for you this tool of detaching yourself it might work, it might make you attractive, but since you have that back burning thought in your mind, it will it will revert back to the person you were before, before you started using this tool. So once again, what why do you want to detach yourself? So you want to detach yourself, first of all, because you want to be in your own frame. Okay. When you when you try to be someone else for someone we are not being true to ourselves and we're not loving ourselves. So the, the main reason why you want to detach yourself is because you want to start investing time in yourself and loving yourself. The more attached you are to someone and to their validation, the meaning that the more you try to make them the center of your universe or of your life so they like you, the more you, you will basically repel them. That's the bottom line. The more you want someone, the more you will repel them. And the bottom line of this is because you are not investing time in yourself to grow as a person, value yourself. You are on a psychological level uh, repelling them. On a spiritual level, energetical, energetic level, you're repelling them. Because you, you are putting your own sense of value based on if they're in your life or not. All right. The, the less time you invest in yourself of becoming the best version of you is only going to 
affect you in the long run. So only only good things can happen when you when you let go. You're gonna have more time for yourself. You're gonna have <laughs> basically a a free memory RAM, like a computer. You know, you're gonna be free mentally wise, right? To put that time and energy into other things that might bring you more happiness into your life. So on a spiritual level, there is an energy shift, right? An energy change, energy shift. On a physical level, you're putting more time, more money, thought in your own life. So you become a better version of you. So as you let go, they will miss you. But the sole goal of you letting go should not be the person you're trying to attract. Maybe an ex-girlfriend. Because as I mentioned before, that would be a manipulation tactic. And it will backfire because in reality, if you're not truly letting go, it is a conditional letting go. Temporarily letting go is not using this technique correctly. Right? So now something interesting too is that even if you are not reaching out to that person, but if you're constantly thinking about them, just thinking about them constantly, uh, is going to affect you. You're projecting that energy into that person. Even if you're not seeing that person, you're not calling them, contacting them, you're projecting that energy if you're constantly thinking about them. And, and the funny thing is, by doing that, uh, the psychological explanation of what I'm saying about projecting your energy on a spiritual level, the, the, the physical explanation would be you're going to build up, you're going to accumulate so much energy inside you, so much thought, so much emotions, because you're thinking of that person, that when that person reaches out to you, you're going to scare them away. That's basically what's going to happen on a physical level. On the spiritual level is those persons can feel your energy because you're projecting it towards them. Maybe you're looking at their posts, your their Instagram stories, you're liking their posts, you're sucking them, I don't know, whatever it is. There's many ways in which you can project your energy on a physical, spiritual level. But the, the, the main thing is here, uh, you want to get them out of your mind. Detaching yourself is totally get that in, getting them out of your mind, even out of your subconscious. Like you need to move on. That's the bottom line for this to totally work. And, and how, do you, how do you really let go of a person? By changing your habits and putting them into wise things that will make you feel happy, right? Investing the time in the right things that make you happy in your life, okay? So it is, it is not truly letting go if, you, if you're thinking about this person. So what you want to do is you want to reel your energy back into loving yourself, focusing on your things, being in your frame. This is when the dynamic shifts, when everything is going to change and you're going to start being more attractive. So instead of putting your thoughts into that, into your past relationships or people, put that energy into your own things, things you love. The energy will be noticed. Okay. So if, if I could take, if we could take anything away from this, from this video, remember that the goal here is not making someone want you or miss you. The goal is building yourself up in the life you want. Attracting the person is basically the side effect. So let them miss you like by not, by not thinking about them over and over and trying to control the situation. You have to treat yourself as your best friend. Like if I, if, if, if I was like speaking to you directly, if, if you were in front of me, I would just tell you, you need to treat yourself as your best friend. And how, how does your best friend or how do you treat your best friend? You, tr you treat them with love, right? With a, with a lot of love. That's how you treat the person you really like, the, your best friend. So other people will notice this and they're going to start treating you with love. When you treat yourself with love, other people will also start projecting the same energy you protect, you project towards yourself. So when do you not have when you don't have the sense of value, you do not show love to yourself. Focusing on other people instead of you, trying to attract other people and trying to please them and validate them is not showing true love to yourself. So you're not projecting true love to yourself and other people will not project true love to you. All right. So keep keep pursuing other people. 
and keep yourself attached to other people and this will keep repeating the cycle over and over the cycle will repeat over and over the cycle is you're going to keep repelling them all right so treat yourself as your best friend and remember remember the quote that the brightest the boldest the most attractive quality a person can possess is being utterly in love with their own lives that is a quote you need to remember that will change you and will help you become the best version of yourself and make you more attractive.